When was the last time that you had to make a compromise? It's always super hard, right? You have to make sure that you both get something that you want, that it's fair, and preferably that you don't get half your stuff torn up in the process. And maybe it's okay if you really love the other person or you're arguing over something quite small. But when it comes to science and mathematics, it's absolutely important that we have a fair, strong, and reliable way of making decisions. I'm doing my PhD in mathematical biology. Specifically, I work with these tree of life diagrams, or as the nerds call them, phylogenetic trees. The way they work is that each organism is connected via a line to its ancestors and to its descendants. And when two come together like this, that means they have a common ancestor. Now, biologists have a lot of ways of working these out. They can dig through the fossil record, or they can chop up DNA and compare it between species, or all sorts of things. But the issue with having a whole bunch of different methods, and even sometimes within the same method, is that you can get different results. So what do you do when you have two, five, or a hundred of these trees with potentially thousands of species in them? How do you make a compromise when you have a whole lot of data and the outcome is potentially really important? In this particular case, biologists seem to want one tree that somehow represents all of the rest of them. But what does that even mean? For instance, in here, you can see in both of the diagrams that the cat and the human are really closely related. So maybe you want to capture that in your final product. Or maybe the fact that they both have exactly the same structure is important, and you want to capture that. Or any number of other things. This is where consensus methods come in. You can think of them like a computer program. You take a whole bunch of trees, you chuck them in, and then out pops one that somehow represents all of the rest of them. And that's important. It can't just be a random tree. It has to be representative. Specifically, I'm trying to develop a new consensus method which is representative, easy to compute, and safe. There are already plenty of consensus methods that are both representative and easy to compute, but the new thing here is the safety. By that, I mean you don't want to spend all of your time making these trees only to have to do it all over again when you discover a new species or you develop a new method. It's a waste of time and it's a waste of resources. And I want to stress, this isn't just an academic exercise. These diagrams are really useful for being able to predict the spread of diseases or track the effects of climate change on organisms. So it's vital that we have a good and reliable way of making these sorts of decisions. Thank you.